We are at Queenie Park, walking another one of those 30 for 30 hikes. But since I am terrible at directions, we parked at the wrong trailhead. <laughs> so I haven't found the punch, the red punch thing yet, but it's one huge loop. So we will pass the trailhead anyway. We just have to keep an eye out for it. So Queenie Park, um, I, I really like Queenie Park. It has a lot. It's got, what were you saying, like a hockey center? Yeah, they, they, I, I don't know if, it's, if they still do ice hockey, but I know you can do inline hockey, which is no ice. So they have like a sports complex and that has a big building that people like rent for different like festivals and activities. Like every year they have a book fair. So, and then Queenie Park, they also have an adult Easter egg hunt. They just have all kinds of activities throughout the entire year. So there's one big like concrete path through the entire park and then there's tons of little side paths and there's a dog park and this is um it's thursday there's an alligator but it's missouri so not really thursday afternoon um it looks like they added a whole bunch of new picnic tables too so we're gonna walk this loop and hopefully find the trailhead with the punch card because i really want that's what we're looking for it's and it's a two mile loop hold on robert let me look at my notes all right so the hawk ridge part of the trail is closed because of a bridge and they do have a detour but robert is afraid that that means we're going to miss the trailhead but we'll give it a try i want to go down here real quick though because see there's a whole bunch of geese right there i don't know if you can see them but they got babies so let's see if we can see the babies and then we'll try to figure out this detour and then we might have to backtrack so i can find the trailhead So yeah, this, this is not a smooth hiking experience today. <laughs> I, I get us to the wrong trail. Then the one we want is under construction. But look at all those cute babies. This is as close as we get because mother geese protect their babies. They would definitely be out. Wow. Be out. Yeah, she's protecting her babies. Yeah. All right, so now we're gonna try to figure out this detour. Here's a pavilion you can rent, and those are very nice girls. And then restrooms, volleyball court, community park, and lots of amenities. All right, so on this detour, this is the building I was talking about, where they have like book fairs and. Easter egg hunts and stuff. And then this is a huge playground. As you can see, it's closed. So that's under construction too. <laughs> so I didn't realize Queenie Park was under major construction. So yeah, that's usually crawling with kids. Look at that neat pyramid. I don't, I don't, not that anyone's working on it. So I don't know what they have to repair, but. So we're going back towards the gate entrance. And this is part of the detour. Okay, so up here is a message board that Robert thinks that is the official thread and I hope he's right because then the punch thing should be on that and then there's two Queenie Park trails the one that's on the hike 30 for 30 the one we're doing right now is the second one so I think it's number 16 on the punch card So as usual, Robert's always right. You can see the red punch on the side of that board next to the Park Watch Owl. It's a 30 for 30 hiking sign. I got my little, I just print it, you can print them out online so you don't have to go to the into the office and get a card. And there it is. Let's see, what did 
I say number 16? Let me double check that it is really number 16. All right, it was number 16. We got it punched. And this is the beginning of the trail head. So this is the, the part. This is the part of the path where if you go down, um, I don't know, probably 1,000 feet is the bridge. So you, they're going to just turn you back around to go up that road. Um, this is the, we parked in this parking lot over here, and this is part of the loop. As soon as this car, yeah, no. But if you wanted to do this, the, uh, this uh, that's parking all along this road. You see how it has a thick shoulder. You are allowed to park along the road. So you can park right next to the trailhead. I just... It's me. If you've watched us long enough, I always get us lost or give us bad directions. I'm terrible with directions, but my husband humors me and gives me a chance to be wrong all the time. And I appreciate it. You're disappointed every time. <laughs> You're disappointed every time. What is that? Isn't that like the definition of insanity? Yeah, like it is. doing. <laughs> Your wife sucks with directions. Oh, there's a cicada. It's cicada season in St. Louis. Put him by a tree. Put him by a tree. So he don't get ran over by a bike. So yeah, there's like a seven year hatch and a 14 year hatch. Close. At least he won't get stepped on. I can hear a couple of cicadas, but I don't hear tons like I expected. But it's still early. June is... It's still a little cool here. The ground has to be like, I don't remember off the top of my head either, 62 or I think it's 62 degrees from the start coming out. Oh, he's got squished. So anyway, I was just going to mention that. So this park has two trails and you could do them both in one day, but we're not going to because the second one starts technically at the dog park which was, you have to leave the, the entrance and go to a different side road through like, you could walk it. But I'm just saying like, people who don't want to make two trips, absolutely, you can do it. But we actually live nearby. We live like 10 minutes away. So we're gonna save the second trail for another day. But you could do, if you're doing the challenge, you can do two in one day. This loop, 2.5 miles or no wait this loops two miles the dog park one is 2.5 so so yes you could do both in one day but since we live close by and we have other errands to run we're only doing one and yes i'm out of breath this is why i'm walking this to get back in shape yeah there are cars way over there so yeah i like queenie park is it our favorite St. Louis Park? No. No, not really. Bee Tree and Lone Elk is still <laughs> our two favorites, but we're gonna do pollen. pollen. We're gonna try them all and maybe I'll rate them once we've done all 30. But to me, Queenie's just not that interesting. It is a nice park. It's got plenty of amenities, but not really as unique as say Lone Elk or Bee Tree. But definitely, definitely a worthwhile park to visit. All right, we are back to our car. So it is one big, easy, well not easy, moderate. I would say it's moderate. Moderate to too easy trail. Robert's saying it's easy. I'm out of shape. It is. It's painted. <laughs> okay, fine. It's an easy trail. But I'm going back down here to show because I, I was too frustrated with myself. In the beginning because I got us lost but this is this is part of the trail we just didn't start at the trailhead and um so here is a fishing pond with a bunch of newer picnic tables there's a couple ladies sunbathing maybe I did video it well either way I'm gonna go back down here just to they're like in the exact spot where people would see so just get a little more footage to show you but yeah, so this is the side parking lot we parked at. Robert's seeing if there's any geocaches. <laughs> any geocaches? No. no. It's a perfect spot. For it is a perfect spot for a geocache. We, we used to geocache all the time. Long time ago. It was fun. It was fun. 
until you were in the middle of summer and it was 200 degrees outside and yes. the ticks were all over. Yes. That's but like anything, you know, you're interested for a while and then you lose interest. But it was fun while we did it. I mean, they still, the geocaching is still a thing. We just don't care about it. Oh, if you're interested, go to geocaching.com. I know this lady's going to this picnic table. She's got a bag, a drink. There's a lot of stuff in that bag. I know. She's wearing work clothes, so she's on her lunch break. She's got a sandwich. She definitely has a sandwich, Robert. Don't ask. I bet it's a salad. It's definitely a salad. No salami. No salami, honey. No hot pepper cheese. All right, so I see some Christmas trees added for like fish nesting places. See some bobbers got too close to this tree. It's water does not look very pleasing. I was like, I'm not showing her, but she has a salad. Five points for Jenny. Yeah. <laughs> it's a salad. She's a woman. That's what we eat. Salads. <laughs> I've seen office men eat salads, but I don't think too much. Of it. All right, we're going back to our car. So. Queenie Park. You earn my respect with the sandwich. <laughs> the thicker the better. I, I could use a sandwich right now. I don't want a salad. I definitely want a sandwich. <laughs> so anyway, Queenie Park. Easy trail. And for, it is actually handicapped accessible, if that is a concern for you. Um, there was... Very hilly. Very hilly, but there was no steps or anything. So, good path for everyone. Or someone pushing the stroller. Don't have to worry about steps.